How's it going guys? Just wanted to drop this quick little video here. My wife and I just uh, got home from town. When we were on our way there though, I noticed that my last heifer that I'm waiting on to calve was in labor. So she's been gone for about an hour now. When we saw her, she looked like she was pretty far along. Um, in other words, we've reached the point where if she hasn't had the calf, then we're probably gonna have to intervene. So I'm gonna gather up my pulling supplies and we're gonna go check on her and see where she's at. So I think the only thing that I need to get out of the shop here is my come along and probably, oh, here it is, probably need a little strap of some kind, which should have right here. I know it's kind of difficult to see, but it looks like the sack has busted and I think I still see hooves poking out of her and typical heifer, she's too stupid to to lay down and push. So I think we're gonna have to help her. Okay, so I got my calving chains here. Come along, strap. All I got left to do now is to go get her. Get her in the chute. And hopefully she doesn't fight me too bad on that. I'll try to take you guys along, but like I say, uh, right now, not really, not really sure what's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, I got all my gates set, and I'm actually pretty lucky because she's standing right by the gate that I need her to go into to catch her but I'm gonna need to go around and sweep around big so that she doesn't spook and go the wrong way. And I also need to climb over this fence without falling and killing myself. Just happened to notice where they were reaching through and they broke a wire over here. It's gonna be a perfect spot for me to crawl through. That's her there. Now you guys can't tell which one she is, but she's right there at the gate where we need her. If I can just get her to move the right way, and we'll have it made. Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect man door here. If you don't care about your shirt, it's perfect. Oh, caught up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> My bottle calf thinks it's time to eat. <laughs> this is gonna make things interesting. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Now you guys can see her, I think. Hooves look right, but she just needs to get him out. Come on, girl. Come on, you've been messing around too long. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 not that way. Now, don't do that. Well, how about that? She went right where I need her to go. That's too lucky. That is too lucky. Now she can turn around and run me over. <laughs> okay, we got her. It's a matter of time now, girl. Well, you know right where to go, don't you? <laughs> I don't even need to close this. I will, but I don't need to. Look at that. She's going right into the tub. I can't hardly believe it. Oh, now the cooperation ends, huh? Okay, it's all right. Now the cooperation ends. All right, guys, I'm mostly going to be out of breath from here on out. So I'm going to unplug the microphone and just kind of let you guys watch what I'm doing.
Okay, I've got her now somewhat. I'd like to have her head a little bit better than that, but I don't like doing it, but what I'm gonna do is stick a pipe behind her. So when I start pulling, I don't pull it right out of the chute. The reason I don't like doing that is because a lot of times when you start pulling on them, they fall. And if the calf's halfway out and she falls, that's not good. So we need to get to it. So I put that second chain on and when I got it around his foot, he pulled it back. That's good. That means he's still alive. So all we got to do now is get him out of there. So I pulled that pipe because she's getting ready to sit down and I don't want her to sit down on the calf's legs and break them. I've got her head pretty good and the body squeezed tight. So if she jumps loose out of there, you're going to see me get out of the chute faster than you thought anyone could move. Come on, baby, push. There you go. There you go. When you pull a calf, you see how I have that downward 
trajectory, that's key because of their anatomy. And you don't just want to yank it right out of there. You kind of want to pull and let her push. See him, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but he's flipping his tongue around. So we know he's alive, that's good. See, she pushes a little bit, and I pull a little bit. She pushes, I pull. It's a slow process, but you see now if we had that pipe in there, she'd be right on that calf's head. And we don't want that, obviously. Come on, baby. Once you get that head out, it's easy going after that. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. You almost got him. Ah. Now I gotta get you out of here. They're hard to hang on I'm out of breath. Okay. Ooh, he is heavy, boy. I tell you what. All right guys, well, that's done. <laughs> Actually, that went probably about as smooth as I could have hoped for. I mean, pretty insane still when I think back about how she basically just walked right up to the alley to the chute. She didn't walk right into the chute, but you know, you, you, you can't have it all. So, um, but yeah, that calf, you know, he's got his head up. He looks fairly strong and I think he's gonna be all right. Um, his tongue was starting to swell up when we got him out, so I think uh, I made the right decision by pulling him. If I would have tried to wait it out to let her do it, I don't know that he would have made it. He might have, but you know, you just never know. I think um, in a case like that, I would rather pull him if I don't have to than not pull him and have him die on me. So no, I think I think we did good. Now you guys know that normally I don't, um, you know, lock cows up after they calve. I just kind of let them do their own thing, but when I have to pull a calf with a heifer especially I will leave her locked up uh, or leave the two of them locked up here together for a couple days just to make sure they mother up and everything um, and that calf is probably weak you know when when you have to pull them like that 
you can assume they were probably in there longer than they should have been and the way they came into the world is you know not not the least stressful thing um, so I like to put them leave them together for a couple days and just make sure that everything's going good and then I will turn her back out with the others all right well this has been an exciting day to say the least um, I'm gonna go home and get cleaned up that calf <laughs> kind of did a number on these clothes but um, yeah I'm gonna get home and change and come back and check on them in a couple hours and just see how everyone's doing. Thanks for hanging out with me at the ranch today, guys. I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Mm -hmm.